Welcome back to Spoiled Vision Movie Recaps. Today, we delve into a 2009 comedy, fantasy, mystery film titled Symbol. Spoilers ahead. In the film, a Japanese man adorned in vibrant pajamas wakes up within a featureless, white room devoid of doors, windows, or a discernible ceiling. Upon closer inspection of the walls, he encounters a peculiar protrusion resembling a male organ. Upon interaction, this triggers the emergence of giggling baby angels from the floor and walls, a brief spectacle before they retreat, leaving their appendages visible. In a phase termed learning, the man, startled, investigates the odd button and, in desperation, seeks help to no avail. Experimenting with various buttons, each press results in a diverse array of objects falling into the room, from toothbrushes to vases. However, his amusement turns to agony when one button summons a cart, striking his legs. Subsequent button presses bring forth whimsical events, including a flatulence-inducing butt and a ball-triggering sushi delivery. Despite enjoying the sushi, the man, frustrated by the absence of soy sauce, futilely requests it from his unseen captors. Angrily pushing aside the soy sauce bottle, he discovers a pair of 3D glasses in another button-activated delivery. Wearing the glasses, he perceives a baby angel pointing at its member, fostering optimism that he's on the break of understanding. Yet, pressing the associated button results in a countdown and a giant butt releasing gas on him from above. Undeterred, he spends hours engrossed in a manga series, only to face a twist when a button press yields the wrong volume. In his frustration, he experiments with other buttons, obtaining 8 and 9, yet still no 6. Surprisingly, the last button he tests reveals a hidden door behind a section of the wall. Celebrating the discovery, his excitement causes him to lose track of the exit opening button. Random attempts yield unexpected results, an African tribesman running between walls, followed by water cascading on his head. The third attempt succeeds, opening the wall, but in his haste, the door closes on his face. Subsequent tries meet the same fate, leading him to deduce that the door stays open when the button tip is down. To achieve this, he explores various methods, trying a runner position and using a fly swatter from a distance prove futile. Pulling with a jumping rope or utilizing air from a fan also fails. His next strategy involves getting on a cart and pushing it after pressing the button, but control eludes him. Realizing the need to keep the button tip down, he places a large vase on it. However, the button resurfaces, prompting the conclusion that he must fill the vase to increase its weight. Attempting to fill it with water proves futile, as the water only falls on him. Trying with sushi results in a vase too heavy to lift. With a narrow neck hindering direct hand access, he resorts to using chopsticks to remove sushi piece by piece. Eventually, he lifts the vase, but in the confusion, he forgets the correct button, unleashing the African tribesman, who accidentally cracks the vase. Frustrated and yelling, he locates the correct button and covers it with sushi, to no avail. Attempts with tape and a steel plate also prove unsuccessful. Dealing with pain from the closing door, he takes painkillers and a nap. Upon waking, he desires water and presses a button. However, it proves to be the wrong button, revealing a rope descending from the ceiling. This brightens his mood, leading to a new plan. Open the door, then use the rope to swing across the room and reach the door before it closes. Unfortunately, attempting to open the locked door behind the fake wall dashes his hopes. Returning to the room just in time, the closing door still manages to hit him. Frustrated, he kicks the wall, triggering a button and exposing the key floating in the room. Like the door, the key disappears when the button resets, prompting the man to locate the button again. Observing where his foot landed, he selects a button, only to have a dog emerge. The third attempt is successful. Using a piece of sushi to mark the right button, he proceeds with his plan. However, as he presses the button, the dog reappears. Undeterred, he finds the button faster and executes his plan, swinging on the rope. Falling to the floor, he spots a plunger from a button and devises a new strategy, using the plunger to push himself farther. After a failed attempt, he succeeds, enabling him to press the button for the key, grab it, press the door button, and reach the door before it closes. Swiftly inserting the key and turning it, he encounters an unexpected challenge. The door has a separate lock requiring three numbers. 
Rushing out and getting hit by the closing door, he throws the plunger, releasing the African tribesmen. Observing the numbers on the tribesmen's forehead, he deduces it's the combination he needs. With time constraints, he repeats the swinging and jumping process three times, entering each number. On the third attempt, he successfully opens the door, requiring extra effort due to it being stuck. Finally managing to open the door, the section of the wall behind him closes, leaving him trapped with insufficient room to complete the door opening process. Devastated, he sits on the floor, crying, reminiscing about the enjoyment he had with the objects from the buttons. Locked there previously, he now realizes he didn't appreciate what he had. Suddenly, he feels a breeze on his face from the left wall. Discovering a crack, he swiftly pushes the panel open, escaping to a mysterious hallway in a pitch-black area. Running towards an exit feels like an eternity, and upon reaching a room, his hair is longer, and his pajama colors have faded. This empty room features adult angels who, in the practice phase, disappear into the wall, leaving only their members as buttons. Meanwhile, in a Mexican city, Antonio's family worries about his father, a Scarget man, a wrestler behaving unusually quiet. Speculations arise about his opponent's youth, but the grandfather emphasizes the importance of experience. Sister Karen drives Escarget Man to the wrestling ring early for preparation, including a change of clothes and prayer to the Virgin. At school, Antonio faces bullying for supporting Escarget Man. As the match approaches, Sister Karen picks up Antonio and their grandfather to witness Escarget Man's performance. The first team, the Northern Tough Ones, featuring Super Demon and Tequila Joe, enters the ring. Escarget Man and Silver Eagle follow as Kiss Me A Lot. Although Silver Eagle starts strong, the Northern Tough Ones overpower him. Gesturing at Escarget Man to join, he initially refuses until Silver Eagle's clever move allows him to escape. As Escarget Man faces overpowering Nas, the man in the mysterious room intervenes. Pressing a member button, Escarget Man magically extends his neck, knocking out both opponents with a head hit. In the room, nothing unfolds, capturing the man's attention. Persistently pressing the same button, Escarget Man proceeds to knock out Silver Eagle, the referee, Antonio, and even the bell. Frustrated, the man experiments with different buttons. One button causes a metal band singer to breathe fire over their Los Angeles concert audience. Another disrupts a Russian magician's disappearing act, while a third prompts a man in China to bark at his dogs. Near giving up, the man notices light from above, realizing there's no ceiling in this room. Seeing angels flying in the distance, he devises a new approach. Instead of pressing member buttons, he uses them to climb the walls. Each button touch or step triggers remarkable events on Earth, from blossoming flowers to an elephant's demise. As he ascends, the effects become more intricate, encompassing nature, humanity, and both mundane and monumental occurrences, such as a toaster and the moon landing. Reaching the top, the man's hair and beard have grown long and he no longer needs to hold on to the wall. Now able to float like the angels, he embraces his newfound role as God, purposefully selecting humanity's significant moments. Surrounded by feathers instead of walls, he enters a glowing portal leading to the last room, adorned with continents on its walls and a colossal member button. This marks the future phase. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notification for more movie recaps.